<laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm scared. How did dad die in a trike accident? <laughs> he rear-ended a BMW. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today, Kevin and I are going on a little bit of a socially responsible day trip. We are both going crazy in the house. We've been locked down for about seven weeks now. The wildflowers, they are a blooming about two hours north of where we live. So we are going to go up there and try to see ourselves some wildflowers as long as there aren't too many people. If there is, we'll just turn right back around. Also, that happens to be where my parents live, and today is my dad's birthday. So we thought we would go and surprise them since we haven't seen them in several weeks. But also, socially responsible, we've got masks, we've got chairs to sit ourselves outside, we're going to be socially distant. If we sense anything that's going to go wrong, we're going to turn right back around and come home, but it's nice to just be out of the house for a little while since we've been kind of cooped up. We're just starting to get out of the city. We probably have about 45 minutes to go. But one good thing to come out of this coronavirus thing is there's no traffic, which is so crazy for LA, but it's like you can go anywhere and you don't have to plan around rush hour. And it's kind of amazing. finally getting out of the city which is really nice we stopped to get some of my dad's favorite food for takeout so hopefully he appreciates that oh by the way it's a surprise they don't know did you get the stuff got the stuff what you got there uh, food pizza and stuff we're not really sure because my brother ordered it so it looks like a couple pizzas it smells good are you ready yeah. Are you okay? Did you get hand sanitizer in your eye? Some surprise distancing signs. Got some paper plates in case they want to feed us, but we brought the food, so. <laughs> hey! 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 Happy birthday! Hey! We have a thermometer. So, you want to check your uh, temperature and come in? We're going to stay outside. <laughs> Say hi, Pat. Social distancing hi. visit. So my parents have two husky dogs and since they live in the suburbs, they have a little bit of trouble actually exercising them. So to remedy that, they bought whatever this monstrosity is. <laughs> I'm going to move away from it right now. But <laughs> it won't bite you. I don't the do dogs it. are eventually going to go back here. There's a system that we're getting this week. Are they hooking up open? This weekend? This week, well, is this we brand see. new? This is brand new. We spent the next few hours playing with the dogs and hanging out outside with my parents. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm scared. Keep your hand on it! Oh. Yeah. How did dad die in a trike accident? He rear-ended a BMW. <laughs> There's a car coming! So we just finished our visit with my parents and it was definitely a weird way to hang out with them, but we all hung out in the yard in a social distance circle and it was really nice. It was really nice to see them. It, it had been a couple months and we did it very responsibly. We had tons of disinfectant and distance and masks and I think we did it right. And they seemed really, really happy to see us, so.
So after about 20 minutes of driving from my parents' house, we've reached the area of the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve. The Poppy Reserve is closed because of coronavirus. There seem to be a lot of people who are maybe disobeying the rules or kind of swarming around that area, but it's really important for us to follow the rules just so we can be socially responsible in every way that we possibly can and set a good example. Um, if there are closed areas, please don't go in them. Please adhere to the rules. It helps preserve the environment, not only the flowers, but the health and safety of everybody because of what's going on right now. But there are actually lots of poppies around. Luckily, the area is spread out, but we want to be responsible in two ways. A, we want to stay away from people because social distancing and all that. And B, we don't want to trample any flowers. So we've come up this dirt road, it's kind of up on a hill, and we see some pretty good flowers that are kind of patchy with lots of dirt around them. So I think this is where we'll take our photos. We want to make sure that we're not trampling any flowers. That's the main thing when we're up here. Should we take some Instagram photos? Sure. Let's do it. got some cool photos and uh, it was easier than we thought to stay away from people there wasn't anyone really close to us at all and also there were a lot of dirt patches so we could go in between the um, poppy plants and be mindful of that stayed away from people and didn't trample any flowers so those are two things that were very important to us today and also got good photos out of it so you will see those up on my Instagram pretty soon Check out the link in the description to head to that page. It's pretty good. Yeah. Right then. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Wait, that sounds like Porky Pig. That's not what I'm gonna say. That's so, all, folks. <laughs> thanks so much for watching our social. <laughs> I'm failing at this so hard. So thanks so much for watching our social distancing adventure today. We had a great time and go ahead and hit that bell so you get the notifications on my videos. And as always, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Opera Tourist. Peace out.